Hello everybody, welcome back to Create and Art. Today we're gonna to make over this picture frame that I found at the Dollar Tree. And you're gonna need one of these and one of these pumpkins. And these are just a styrofoam hollow pumpkin I got from the Dollar Tree. I picked up one of these um, bag of little signs or little words here from the Dollar Tree. And it was a six different little sayings. We're gonna use the Hello Fall today. I have some orange paint, brown paint, some matte finish Mod Podge, I have a pencil, a pair of scissors, I have a piece of scrapbook paper, a plaid in black, and I have a piece of white paper. I also have these little pieces of wood that I had left over from a previous project, and these are from the trays, and I used those in um, the little thing I made that was a, a wagon full of pumpkins. So these are just leftover wood pieces. You could use foam core board, cardboard, or anything else you have. But that's what I'm going to use today. I have a paintbrush, an X-Acto blade. I have a black paint marker. I have some Ray Dunn stencils that I got offline. I think I got these on Etsy. And I have some ink and I have some black and some brown distressing ink. A couple of my little pouncers here, a black one and a brown one to use. And I have this turkey carver knife that I picked up from the thrift store and this cuts styrofoam awesome. So if you ever see one of these, you need to grab it. So that's all we're gonna need. Let me get situated, we get started. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is remove the little stem here on the pumpkin. And it left like a little toothpick there. Don't worry about it, we'll cut around it. So go ahead and take your knife and cut it in half. There is actually a line that you can kind of follow when you're cutting these in half. And then I took my X-Acto knife and just cut out the top portion. And I kind of just followed along that circular part there on the top. And then I just cleaned up the edges a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my picture frame and I'm gonna unwrap it here and I'm gonna remove all these little strings here, these jute strings. And I just kind of tore them off and cut these off. I went ahead and opened up the back and then I'm gonna reuse the string that has the little safety or clothespins on it. And I'm just gonna stretch it across the top part there. And then I'm gonna put the black backing back in there. And I'm going to hot glue the edges back to the back side of this. And then I just took my scissors and just trimmed off the extra. So now I'm gonna take my half of my pumpkin here and I'm just gonna color in with some orange paint just around the edges and the top edge. So when you glue it on, you won't see any of the white part. Now I'm gonna take the hello little wooden sign here and I'm just gonna paint the top of it. And I try to just stay on the top edge and don't do the side edges. So just on the front sides. And then I'm gonna let that dry Okay, so now I'm gonna take these pieces of paper, I'm gonna trace around them to match that little wooden pieces that I have. And I just cut them out with my scissors, and then I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge and glue these to the front sides of those pieces of wood. So I have a white one and a plaid one. So I just spread a thin layer of Mod Podge and just stick the paper on top. Go ahead and do that to both pieces. Okay, now I'm sorting my stencils and I'm gonna write trick or treat on this one. And these are some stencils that I got off of Etsy. And the easiest way to doing stencils is to start in the middle and then work your way out on each side. And now I'm gonna take my distressing ink here. This is a black. I'm just gonna distress the edges of these. And now I took my brown distressing ink and I went ahead and colored the clothespins to be a little more dark. So now I'm gonna take my pumpkin and I'm gonna take that distressing ink, the brown one, and I'm just gonna go over lightly on to the edges of the pumpkin just to give it a little more vintage feel and not make it look so shiny. I'm 
And then I took the brown ink to the Hello Fall and just lightly went over the edges and a little bit across the top. And now I'm gonna hot glue that right onto that plaid little sign you made. So now I'm going to hot glue the pumpkin to the front of the sign. Put a good amount of hot glue on there. Be careful not to get it in the opening. And I'm just gonna push this down and it's nice and secure. So now I'm gonna take these little clothespins and I'm just gonna hot glue them right onto the jute string here. Be careful not to let it touch the back. You don't want it to stick to the black part. So let it cool down before you let go of it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna attach the Hello Fall sign. And then I just had some flowers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna snip off a few little pieces of each kind here and just stick them down in the pumpkin. This is so cute for fall. I just love it. I love how it turned out. So I like to make things interchangeable and that's why I made the trick or treat. And I'm just gonna fill this now with some candy. You could do all kinds. You could add a spider. You could add something for Halloween. I think it turned out cute. Well, thanks for watching.